All right, YouTube Mount is here, and here I am at the Kiss Indie Expo 2016, and I'm here with David from UD Replicas and Kiss Replicas, and he's going to tell us about these amazing Kiss Monster costumes. Hey everybody, uh, first of all I want to thank Jason for uh, coming out to see us, it's always great to see you buddy. Uh, as he said, David here uh, from KISS Replicas and we're at the Indie KISS Expo 2016. And this year we showed up with uh, our monster costume line. We've got a couple of other, other surprises here. But just to get it going here, here you can see the Gene Monster, Eric. Let's start off with Tommy. We've got a lot of piping, all tightly wrapped around the foam. And uh, the, the outfit itself is extremely, extremely light, flexible. Uh, all of the details are ex identical to what you see him wearing on stage, down to all the stud work, the open windows, the gauntlets. And as you pan down, you can see the boots with the full platform. And uh, just to be able to really show off everything, if you get the back there, you can see how we even have the spandex on the back. And straight up to the big flying V swoop with uh, the ruby in the center back of the of the outfit. Again, literally identical to what Tommy wears on stage. Let's move on over to uh, Eric. That's epic. Another one that I really love. First of all, I gotta apologize, we weren't ready with the belt yet. It looks a little naked without it, but guys, you get it. So the vest is obviously removable, bodysuit is identical, and all of these are actually one-to-one -one scale of what the members actually uh, wear on stage because we bought the patterns directly from KISS Management. So we got uh, the, gaunt the, the wristbands, the, the bicep, the collar. Look at the detail on the boots. And what, what people don't know about this is we actually replicated the snake skin out of a silicone print. So what we're doing is trying to contain costs so that we don't get an MSRP that goes way out of line with regards to a retail product. So we're still looking at somewhere between $449 five and change with these boots here even though they're much more elaborate so everything here that we're doing is straight off of their patterns and Jason you can get the back here you can see the spider web on the back of the vest wow that's sick isn't that nice beautiful isn't that nice so let's move on now I'm really sorry about Gene I forgot to bring the monster boots <laughs> I know that that's a big uh, a big one to forget but all things considered, you get a good look here at the suit. Now we've made about 12 of these, and these are all made out of actual armor. Now this one here that I brought, it's our paint master, and it was our alignment test. You can see some screw holes here. That's because we were getting the right placement of, uh, of the shoulder pieces. The arms come off, the shoulders come off, everything tucks into the chest piece, and it'll be shipped in one box with the arms and shoulders removed. The cod piece, as a matter of fact, this piece of armor is actually jeans. This is one that they sent me. I didn't make this, this is directly from them. Nice. And as far as the cod piece goes, again, this is patterned to jeans, so it's a little bit bigger than our mannequin, also because the mannequin's real tiny, so I got it pinned on, and it looks a little awkward, but size-wise, this is identical. Yeah, nice. And same with the wings. Let's open it up here, and you can get nice. an idea. Nice, let's get the wings. See that? Yeah, that's Ooh. awesome. Everything's patterned directly off of the actual monster suits. Yeah, go ahead and get the back, yeah. Yeah. And because sick. this Oops. is one of our paint tests, there's supposed to be a snap clip here, another clip here, the cape clips to the armor, all of that we didn't bother to do with this, and you can see it's all got Chicago screw so we could take yep. it apart quickly to paint it again this is just a paint master now let's move on over here Paul I got to be honest I, I, I love the monster suits but I'm a huge fan of, of Paul's and I think what we did here was was short of miraculous I mean everything from the, the the leopard print the pleats look how subtle that is I don't even know if the camera can pick it up oh yeah obviously does. the vest comes off the the, the ostrich uh, feathers they come off as well look at the, look at the belt look at the armor on the belt isn't that spectacular yeah it's amazing and uh, if you pan down to the boots again, these are identical to what he wears. Uh, again, sorry I forgot to bring the, uh, the, the the top of the foot straps that go on. We do have those as well. But you can literally see everything is identical to what Paul wears on stage. Nice, everything. just like he wears on stage. That's everything. epic. I mean, look look at the stud work. Look at all of that. I mean, it's incredible. It, this is a lot it's of work. It's so much detail. Look at the back of the vest. Isn't that incredible? Yeah, it's incredible. Now, just to wind this all down, uh, and, and I want you guys to go gentle on me here because the creature suit, this is my actual Halloween costume. I made this for myself in three weeks while I was on the phone talking to customers, working away. I was working on this. But I wanted you guys to see that we have the creatures line in the works as well. So even though this is my Halloween costume, this is a representation of what the licensed version will look like. It'll be far nicer, far better. Again, this was made at my desk while I was, you know, busy on the phone helping you guys with sizing. But nevertheless, you know, you get the idea. We got the studded boots. Um, we've got both versions of the cod piece, so we don't necessarily, you don't have to necessarily go with the phallic version. You go with the plain one. Um, 
but again, you know, no detail left unturned. Everything from the rings on uh, the sides, the stud work, we got the harness for the shoulder pieces here, all of the elaborate work. This slipped in, it does have the dip in here. It just, I guess the glue gave and because it's supposed to cut in like that. Let's see if I can show you the back. You can see that we got the lace up and everything. Oh, nice. You see, we've got it all. That's sick. Now, one thing I do want to add is, um, even though this is, like I said, my Halloween costume, the shells that are on it, I don't want to misrepresent anything. We didn't make those shells. I've had them for a decade in my collection. I have no idea who made them. Um, but they were extra shells, so I, I turned them into, you know, the costume that I wear yeah. for me. But again, all of this is going to be available at uh, kissreplicas.com very soon, and we're looking to go to market with the mar with the monster suits at some point in June. So that's it, folks. Hope you come and see the, the, the goods here at the show. And if not, come and visit us at www.udreplicas.com. Kiss forever. Awesome. Thanks. Mounting us out.